Okay, let's go over the male reproductive structures here on this male reproductive model. We'll start with the scrotum here. And then we have a view of the testis or testes or testicle, right? It depends on whether it's singular versus plural that you want to use. Plural is testes, singular is testis. This structure here is the epididymis. This is the penis. The shaft of the penis is here. This is the glands. I will show you the prepuce or foreskin here in a moment when I uh, take the front portion off the actual model. Now, other structures we can see in this view. This is the vas deferens or ductus deferens. This is the prostate gland, the seminal vesicle, and while not a reproductive structure, this is the urinary bladder. Now that I've removed that portion of the actual model, we can see the penis here. And this is the glands. And you can see the actual foreskin or prepuce covering the actual glands. Whereas in the other view uh, was a circumcised view, so the, uh, the foreskin was removed. This view, you can see the actual prepuce or foreskin intact. We can also see the erectile tissues here. Uh, this is one of the two corpus cavernosa or corpora cavernosa in the penis. And this red structure here is the singular corpus spongiosum that encircles the urethra, which passes through the penis here. We can also see the bulbo gland here within the urogenital diaphragm. This is that bulbo gland, the prostate gland, the ejaculatory duct, and again, although it's not a reproductive structure, the urinary bladder. Down here, this is a cross section of the testis. And within the testis, you see all of these little holes or cross sections of tubes in here. These are the seminiferous tubules. So the testicle or testis as a whole, externally is easy, you can see as a whole organ there. When it's cross sectioned or, or cut into a cross section as this is, you can see these individual holes. These are the seminiferous tubules that make up the actual testis or testicle.